Greetings, fellow citizens, tourism stakeholders, all. I'm very pleased to share with you that our Federation has finally achieved an 80% vaccination rate, a very, very significant milestone in our fight against the COVID-19 virus and our efforts to keep the pandemic at bay. This is indeed a proud moment for the Federation. And I wish to commend all and applaud all who have stepped forward to take the jab, as well as those individuals who encouraged, who appealed, who reasoned with and accompanied their family members, friends and neighbors, co-workers and associates to be vaccinated. Deepest appreciation as well to our partners, the COVID-19 Task Force and the Ministry of Health for your support and collaboration at every step of this journey. It was not always easy, but we managed to stay the course and to consistently deliver the message of protection through vaccination. And by consistently adhering to the protocols, wearing a mask, frequently sanitizing hands and work areas, reducing time spent in confined or crowded spaces, and social distancing. We are proving that without a doubt, by acting with unity of purpose, that by adopting an all of society approach to tackling this virus, we have delivered remarkable results that are redounding to our collective benefit and safety as a people. A high vaccination rate increases the pace at which we can fully reopen our society and get back to enjoying the once simple pleasures of socializing with friends and family and attending events. It also increases visitor confidence in travel, travel to destinations they deem safe. Over the past few months, as the vaccination rate increased, we saw an easing in travel restrictions and a reduction in quarantine days for fully vaxxed travelers. <clears throat> Within recent times, practically each week, we have seen an increase in the number of sites and attractions accepting tours for vaccinated patrons. And just recently, approval was granted for integration of crews and stayover visitors at these sites. Access to Port Zante by fully vaccinated patrons is also a recent development. Indeed, we are building momentum in the tourism sector and the return of long-standing airline and cruise ship partners to the destination testify to this very fact. American Airlines, Air Canada, and British Airways are already providing or are set to resume services shortly. Between July to October of 2021, we received around 18 cruise calls. We anticipate just around 30 calls in November and around 60 in December. Recovery in the tourism sector continues to deliver work for our tourism stakeholders and improved socio-economic prospects for the Federation at large. We must keep up the momentum, however, as COVID-19 will be with us for the foreseeable future. So let's continue to apply the protocols that have kept us safe thus far. Take our booster shots to further increase our levels of protection. Continue to encourage those who are not yet vaccinated to do so. And appeal to our young people between the ages of 12 to 17 to get vaccinated. Let's vaccinate to integrate and help to rebuild and preserve a resilient and sustainable tourism sector. May God continue to bless our Federation and guide our efforts on our journey to recovery.